Well, that's uh, Dresden. Here, the so-called Augustus Bridge. And yeah, you have some historic steamboats from the uh, end of the uh, 19th and the beginning of the 20th century here on the River Alp. And just here you have the uh, Brüche Terrasse. It's uh, some terrace of the form, uh, former nobilities. And here you have the tower of the uh, famous uh, Frauenkirche. So this church was just destroyed in World War II on 13th of February. And yeah, it was a ruin quite a long time and have been rebuilt until I think 2006 or so or 2004, I'm not quite sure. And that's, yeah, that's the Baroque core of the city of Dresden. And here you have, uh, on the left side, it's part of the uh, Dresden Castle. And right hand, the Catholic uh, Church. So, I'm just moving forward to cross the river Alp and here you have uh, the Semper Opera I think people who know Dresden a bit mostly know about the Semper Opera that has also been destroyed uh, at the end of World War II and rebuilt in I think or fi finished to rebuild in 1986 I think or 1983 I'm not quite sure And here you have the River Alp that's going to the north of Germany and finishing in Hamburg, going into the North Sea, Northern Sea. And it's really great here you have a steamboat Dresden. I don't think that you can see that. And you have also a couple of more steamboats so you can just cruise uh, along the river Alp through some locations outside of Dresden yeah I think the, the steamboats will start earliest at uh, 9 or 10 a.m. so I would probably have to wait for about an hour to listen to them or to have some uh, making some noise for us but I am not here for the last time so I might I might get some noise from the steamboats later or on some other day. And here some somehow in the background you see the, the location of the so-called uh, movie festival on the River Alp. So of course since it's eight some some time after eight AM here in Germany there's nothing happen happening there at the moment but in the evening there are a lot of uh, movie uh, presentations and concerts and all the stuff uh, throughout the whole summer so if you visit Thurston you should you should have a look into a program of the film Nächte am Elbufer so Tra a tram with the colors of the city of Dresden so yellow and black are the historical colors of the city of Dresden
yeah that's that's nice I think there are a lot of uh, publications and flyers posters and, and all the stuff where some buildings or some location of Dresden is used for but of course Germany has a lot of other very nice sites as well so it's not only Dresden and its sites Once again a view at the steamboats here. Not only steamboats, there are also some modern salon boats or ships. One is just arriving here. Might happen, but who cares? So I am still on my way to the new town or Neustadt side of Dresden. It's called so because uh, the first settlement here in Dresden has been on this side. So on the southern side of the river Alp. And later on the settlers also moved to the northern side of the River Alp. So it was about 800 years ago that uh, Dresden have been uh, first uh, be mentioned. So thank you guys for your hearts and your questions. So if you are interested in anything, just feel free to give me a hint while we chat. Well, I'm in Dresden, the capital of the federal state Saxony of, uh, in Germany, so it's my hometown. So this building is where, uh, Saxon, or where it was located the Saxon Academy uh, uh, of uh, Science, so It's some science place here within science and research.
and I'm now crossing the street to go to the Golden Rider or Golden Reiter, I think, uh, which is also known by some people who know Dresden. Hallo. <laughs> well, stubborn, yeah, yeah. I think a lot of uh, German people are some somehow stubborn. And probably especially in in Saxony or Dresden. Might be, but there are some more stubborn people than uh, on, uh, on some other places in Germany. Yeah, it, it differs. It differs. Uh, some people are already really focused. Yeah, I wouldn't uh, say that they are stubborn, uh, but yeah, I know. I know also a couple of people who are uh, somehow stubborn, and yeah. As you can see here is, uh, is some strike uh, of uh, employees of the German post. So uh, to go on strike is uh, probably or maybe also some some stubborn thing. <laughs> Yeah, it seems that well, people going on strike are rather relaxed here. Uh, in comparison to other uh, European cities, there are not that much strikes here or that many strikes here in Germany. Uh, but at, in the moment, uh, there are several branches uh, and uh, companies that are not that fair with their employers so a lot of people are uh, going to, to the street and uh, striking for better working conditions uh, more uh, more earnings and all the stuff but in general there are some some European countries like France for example uh, where you have much more uh, people going on strike for their employee rights or any other thing. Yeah, as far as I know, uh, or as you get to know from the press, uh, you have in France uh, an average uh, more strike days uh, per worker or per employee. So, But right now, at the moment, uh, Germany, or since, since the beginning of, of the year in Germany, there are uh, more people going on strike than uh, in average years earlier. So the people want to, to uh, benefit from the from economic uh, growth. So ah, Lufthansa, yeah. Yeah, Lufthansa is a, is a huge topic at, at the moment, um, and also many other many other branches uh, like in the ed education uh, thing. There have been strikes, uh, with kindergartens, and all the stuff. But hopefully there will be some some major changes. Uh, so
Hey, thanks, guy, for the hearts. Yeah, of course, I'm working on uh, getting more viewers uh, long term, so it's already much more viewers than, let's say, three or four weeks ago when I started with Periscope. So there's some growing. Uh, and of course, uh, what's some problem uh, about Periscope is uh, what the Germans are not that, uh, not that, yeah, firm with it or not that. Uh, much using it uh, right now, so I really hope to to benefit uh, from being uh, some early adopter of Periscope here in Germany, especially. So also in Dresden you have some homeless people moving around with their whatever they have in their bags. Ah, okay, I understand uh, the homeless thing. But you have came out of it. So, ah, great, congratulations, so, yeah, I, I, in, in Leipzig I have my bike, so in Leipzig I'm going, in, going on tour with my bike, but here in Dresden uh, with a bus that I came with from Leipzig to Dresden, I couldn't take my bike with me, so, today I'm here on my feet, so. So that's it for the moment. I'm going off right now, but yeah, we'll meet each other maybe later again. Thanks for watching.